Hello, and today we're going to be creating the Great Barrier Reef. Did you know that the Great Barrier Reef is one of the largest coral reef systems in the world? It includes 2,900 reefs and 900 islands. This is the world's largest living structure. Astronauts can even see it from space. It is home to many different animals such as fish, sea turtles, sea horses, sea snakes, stingrays, and much more. So let's get started. Begin by putting your name on the back of your paper. You can decide which side is the back. We are going to be using all these different types of printed papers. I also have a few solid papers as well. The type of artwork that we are creating is a collage project. This means that we're going to be using lots of different papers to build and type of artwork. So it's not just drawing, it's going to include a lot of drawing, cutting, and gluing to create our full composition. Notice how when I am layering these pieces, I'm putting the edge up against the paper. And it's also a good idea to start on the edge of the paper instead of drawing your pieces right from the center. This is the best way to save our pattern paper or our printed papers and allow others to use those colors, those prints as well. Now that I have the background completed, I'm ready to add in some life, some plants and animals. So I'm using this handout that I have uh, to help me, guide me through how to make some of these different things. I even had a trick of cutting out a piece of this and then folding the paper over so that I could cut two out of one drawing. And it really saved me a lot of time. Once I cut it out, then I was able to use a black crayon to draw in my designs. Now, before gluing these down, I always like to try and place them around on the paper to determine where I really want these placed. The way you lay out your composition is what is going to make your picture very unique and seem balanced. I'm now using the handout again to help me draw a fish. And as you may notice, I'm close to the edge of the paper. Like I mentioned before, you do not wanna draw your items right in the middle of the printed papers. That way we can save as much of that paper and you don't cut right through the center. That way other people can use the pattern paper as well if you have a really neat looking piece. After I feel like I have a good amount of pieces glued on to my paper, I can then begin drawing in extra details. I happen to use the handout for ideas because I have a hard time thinking of what could be in the coral reef. But if you have some ideas that you would like to put in to your coral reef, you go right ahead. The key to this project is really filling your composition. Making sure the paper is nice and full will really make your picture stand out. The more details, the more interesting it will be.
The way I filled my composition was by looking at the page and finding areas that I felt looked empty. Once I found a spot, I was then able to add something to that area so it wouldn't look so bland. Well, that's it for this project. I hope you guys enjoy creating your coral reefs.